welcome to part three of the Vapor Store PAX Portable Vaporizer Review. We are now going to demonstrate how the PAX works and functions. Start by turning it on by pressing the mouthpiece. Purple indicates it is heating. I'm going to fill up the filling chamber with some nice fresh chamomile. You can already see it's starting to steam a little from the heat. Green indicates it's ready to go and it's already green. Here comes the first try. First try had a nice flavor to it, nice fresh taste. Got a mild vapor. Usually vaporizers sometimes take a few puffs to actually get them completely warmed up. So we're gonna try a second. Got a little stronger flavor this time. A little more visible vapor this time. And try turning the heat up to the highest level. Now it's green. Oh yes, definitely got some visible vapor. And it tasted very good. No burning taste at all. I don't know how well you could see that, but I definitely exhaled some visible vapor and it still tastes great. Let's look at the contents. It's still pretty green. There's no black. It's a little bit of brownness, but still relatively fresh looking. The PAX performs best when it's packed pretty well and tight. My first try was a pretty loose packed bowl. So next time I'm gonna pack it even more. Try it again. Wow, that was a uh, quite a little cloud there. Quite impressive for such a small handheld device. Portable vapes are in a different class than home vapes, so you cannot compare the output to a home vaporizer, but for a portable vaporizer of this size, the output is quite high. 
Thank you for watching the PAX demo.